have looked at uh, germ-free animals, uh, mice, uh, and uh, shown that, uh, in fact, if you introduce bacteria into the intestine of the germ-free mice, uh, that you can change uh, the activity in the brain and the, and, and, uh, and, the, and the behavior. It's not just diet. It's, uh, it's also the, 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 the clear uh, association. Others uh, in, at the Karolinska in Sweden have shown uh, that uh, in, if you uh, take a germ-free mouse, that the introduction of bacteria into the intestine completely uh, change uh, and, um, and allow maturation uh, of the brain. So it's, it's influencing the brain development and the nervous system development, which in turn is going to be influenced by genetics and, uh, and subsequent uh, uh, environmental factors. But clearly the bacteria in, in the intestine uh, affect differentiation and maturation of the nervous system. Then we uh, established that, uh, at least with the bacteria that we were using, which was an lactobacillus rhamnosus, uh, that if we cut the vagus nerve below the diaphragm, that all these changes, changes in uh, relation to stress responses in the HPA axis, uh, changes in the uh, GABA uh, receptors in the brain, all were removed. So that, at least for that bacterium, uh, the communication between uh, the bacteria and the brain uh, were mediated by the intact vagus nerve. Now, other people now have shown that, uh, that this is not the only pathway and that clearly there may be humoral uh, systemic pathways so it isn't necessarily only the vagus. But for certain bacteria this is clearly, clearly the case and that's why we, uh, we are uh, chasing that particular pathway. We don't know what the humoral molecules are. That's the, the short answer to the question. However, the bacteria we have shown uh, that the bacteria can communicate directly with uh, the local nervous system and then to the vagus nerve uh, through components of the bacteria. In this case, uh, uh, the, uh, a polysaccharide, an exopolysaccharide component uh, of the uh, capsule uh, of uh, a particular bacterium, Bacteroides fragilis. And so uh, we think that there are probably many different pathways, many different molecules, not just uh, uh, components of the actual bacterium, but the bacteria also make uh, neurotransmitters such as GABA, uh, which can affect the local uh, nervous system and which in turn stimulates, in this case, the vagus to uh, pass signals to the brain and affect uh, the same uh, system. So there are many different systems and there are many different pathways and I'm, that's only a very brief uh, understanding. Uh, more is coming out uh, daily as, we, uh, as various people around the world investigate this uh, association.